What's up you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about studying. I mean, obviously I keep bringing this topic up because it is important in PA school. And so if you are getting ready to get into PA school or you're actively applying and you're going to start either in the fall or in the winter time, this video is for you because you are going to need some tips and tricks for studying and some tools, which is what I'm gonna be bringing you in just a few seconds. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about a study tool for PA school. And I know I've mentioned like, other study tools from this particular company, which is Ross Review, but I wanted to specifically point out their didactic cue bank. Now, if you have not heard me talk about it before um, or you haven't heard about it at all, I'm gonna leave a link for you right here um, so that you can go check out their didactic cue bank. Ross has many, 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 many cue banks um, for your pre PA students to your actual PAs. Um, but with that being said, uh, you have to be a constant like continuous learner in the healthcare field and these cue banks are important so I wanted to show you this um, obviously like now I didn't have a didactic cue bank per se when I was in PA school I had just the cue bank but Rosh has like really done a great job of kind of like pack ratting some of these little parts of um, like studying and study tools and tips for us by putting them in various different cue banks and so they have specifically the didactic cue bank and there are over 1800 questions which is bananas it's amazing you guys that there's so many questions because you like it's endless the amount of tests that you can take quizzes you can take to really like grasp subject matter so i want to show you here um this is my rosh review app now obviously if you um are doing rosh review you can do it on the computer or on an app on your phone which is actually really nice and beneficial because you can take this with you wherever you want to go but i want to show you just kind of how it looks i have it in dark mode i like the dark mode look i don't know i think it's a little sultry but you can have it in light mode as well um, and then you can create your exam. So it gives you like your projected score, your possibility of passing right now. Mine is low. I've taken like, I don't know, a couple questions, got some right, got some wrong. So it calculates, it's very, it's always learning. So it calculates your score as you take these exams and as you, as you go, which is nice to keep track of. Um, it can show you like all of the exams that you've just taken. If you want to review your exams, you have an option to do that. If you want to retake it, you can do that as well, which I suggest doing after a while, you know, coming back to it after a week or two. Um, then if you go back to home, you can create a new exam. And in that, what I like about QBanks and specifically Rosh's QBank is that you can do it in either tutor mode or test mode. So you can simulate like your boards or your end of rotation exams or your tests in school. Um, or you can do it as a tutor mode where it kind of gives you an explanation and brings you through and helping you understand exactly why you got what you got right or got what you got wrong wrong okay so i really like that and then you can choose from if you just want to do like let's say you've done like a hundred um questions and you want to you've and you've like missed 30 of them you can go and just choose from the incorrect questions that you've missed and redo like take an exam from that to see if you grasp the concepts now or if there's still subject matter that you need to actually like learn more of which is something that is really important because um you don't want to spend time learning subject matter that you already are very familiar with and you're really good at uh you want to like actually do the things that you're not good at and so for those of you that are like studying again for your boards um or you're studying like for tests in pa school like this is actually a really really good tool for you so i'm going to just use all again it says um actually i'm going to use unused just because and it's uh, that 1100 that i have here and i just you can choose your category so you can either select all of the categories or if you're in a particular category in school that you're learning about you can choose that particular category um, I'm gonna just create the exam you give it a test name or you know Adana or whatever you want to name it and then the number of questions and I'll just hit two <laughs> oh my gosh I don't know why I always get so much anxiety with this because <laughs> Um, 
he, a 76 year old man, I woke this morning with acute vision loss in his left eye. He denies pain or trauma from the scope exam review. Dilated veins and a blood and thunder. Blood and thunder. Oh, I, I remember this. Uh, central and I think it's, is it? I don't know. Okay, I remember blood and thunder. Like those are classic like pearl words. But obviously, like I haven't done anything with the eyes in a long time, which is so I I honestly don't know. But let's do like I think it, let's do retinal artery occlusion. Vein. Okay, so blood and thunder is vein, you guys. All right, and so it shows you like obviously like if I was in PA school and I was reading this up, I would know this. But um, it's it's here for you guys. It shows you exactly like the percentage of your peers who got it incorrect or 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 correct. Um, it tells you the explanation on what you're going to see. Like with res what did it say? It said dilated veins. Why did I choose artery? Oh my gosh! Like what am I doing with my life? <laughs> But anyways, those are like some of the things. It says dilated vein, so okay, central retinal vein occlusion, all right, you guys. Um, but it tells you exactly what um, the what it's going to look like. You're going to actually like see pictures, which is something that I really like, these pictures here. And then it takes you one step further where you can ask, it asks you a question, and then you can view the answer, okay? Um, so that's really a, a nice thing right there. Um, which of the following findings on your analysis is most sensitive which is most sensitive it's i don't know with positive nitrates pyuria oh i guess yeah you know pus in your urine you're definitely gonna have some cystitis there but you see the spread on the peer comparison like 34 put leukocytes 30 percent chose nitrates and 31 chose pyuria um so that is just something i i really like this is a long explanation here but it's very good I love the app, that aspect of it. You can, you see, I'm gonna grade my exam and I got zero, correct? And that's that. And that just gives me my probability. So this is really cool. I love it. Um, and I think it's very beneficial to have something to actually go back to, um, to test yourself on the, the material, especially when you're in that particular subject matter. Um, but anyways, definitely I'm gonna leave an, a link for you for the didactic cubing. I think it's very important for you to look into. Um, if you have any questions for me or any questions on the Rosh QBank or anything like that, you better hit them up. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the description. <laughs> if you have any questions for me, leave them in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on the PA and on Instagram at Get That's University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.